It looks better than you expected. This is beyond this is beyond any imagination that I have. This is actually incredible. Valve has confirmed <laughs> Valve has confirmed rumors regarding Counter-Strike 2. The next era of Counter-Strike begins this summer. The biggest update in the history of Counter-Strike. I'm excited. Actually, that's an understatement. I'm absolutely hyped. I can't wait. Performance upgrades, gameplay and audio upgrades, maps and graphics upgraded, skins will be in CS2 and look even better than right now. New tools for the community and so much more. The smokes, yada, yada, yada. Ah, prepare yourselves. And that's only what we know thus far. Apparently what has been revealed by now is only the beginning. The last part of the blog post reads, in just a few months, we'll reveal all of the details of Counter-Strike 2 and we can't wait to share it with you. Like what the f***? This video is sponsored by G2A. G2A is a digital marketplace where you can buy everything revolving around video games. Go check it out with the link in the description. Hope you enjoyed the video. First off, Counter-Strike 2 is a free upgrade to CSGO. You are getting pretty much an entire new game for free. Yep. Yes, your skins are safe. Don't worry about it. As predicted by many, Valve will not destroy their huge built-up economy system. Instead, they will look even better now in-game which kind of already influences the skin market in just a few hours. Shiny skins like, for instance, this Bayonet Doppler, well, I mean, look at the graph. <laughs> the game will look fresh, better, new. The maps will be either completely renewed, example, Overpass, not only a new look, but rebuilt from the ground up with all the new available tools provided by Source 2 and its rendering features. Most importantly, there's a beer garden now available. Jawohl. <laughs> Or maps like Nuke will only be upgraded with its lighting, reflections, and materials, while the classics like Dust 2 seems to be a return again in Counter-Strike 2. Probably? I'm definitely excited. The community is getting more tools with the Source 2, which honestly can only mean one thing, even better content by the community for the community. High definition visual effects will be a part as well. Source 2 lighting, but like particle systems, it will all make it look more realistic. And my eyes, better look for the spectators. Uh, either esports, content, or really anything. The spectators are going to have a very, very good time. Gameplay visuals have been redesigned with directional blood impacts as an example. Very neat little details. And here's the thing. Counter-Strike has always been the game that is very easy to get into, but the details made you stick around. Now they add even more small details like this, which will spice the same principle each round up. The more small details, the better in the end. I guess I'm gonna play Counter-Strike until I'm retired with grey hair and not like that I'm dragging around the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Environment effects updated such as explosions, fire, Molotov, C4 lighting and much, much more. UI enhancements as well. Fresh visuals are always a nice positive touch. They also teasing accurate audio that is reworked. Uh, let's see about that. <laughs> How do you get access to the CS2 limited test is what probably all of you are asking right now. Players will get randomly selected based on playtime, trust factors, team account standing, and a couple more features, factors that they haven't revealed. So check your Cisco main menu whenever you enter the game. If you're invited, you can select something that is called Enroll in Game, download, and start to play it. So regularly check up on your Cisco main menu. The test will last undefined until the release, I suppose. More information will be shared soon. Oh, and also feet. Hmm. People have already tested the game according to Forrest, the spray and recoil pattern and so on is still the same. I'm excited to learn more about it from the testers directly. However, I've got a fair few open questions. How will third party sites like Face It be influenced? Open Secret is really that Valve kind of wants everything in one place, which makes sense, right? They want everything in the game. So the matchmaking system, will it get an overhaul? Will there finally be a proper ranking system? Right now you're playing towards the highest rank, which is Global Elite, but it's such a huge ELO difference. What I would like to see is a proper ranking, like rank number one player, rank number two player, rank number three player, and not only having an invisible ELO with a rank cap at Global Elite. Anti-cheat. Are we finally getting something more intrusive? A back update coming with CS2? That'll be great. System requirements? What are the requirements for your system to actually play it and run it smoothly because let's be honest it looks really good but it also looks like that potato pcs are not gonna have a good time will nvidia technology be introduced and included cisco is heavily cpu focused so now maybe the gpu is about time to be incorporated properly with source 2 there's lots of things like nvidia reflex and so on that would enhance the game even further that i would love to have in counter strike 2 hey also create a code pretty please <laughs> CSGO will most likely disappear and be fully replaced by Counter-Strike 2. I saw a couple of people wondering whether or not it's going to be two games. I'm pretty sure that CSGO 
will be finally dying, but only because there's a new Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike will never die. What's your take on it? I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. See you in the next video. I'm actually wondering if my input is going to still work or something. The experience of anyone that is a Counter-Strike fan, a Counter-Strike player, a Counter-Strike skin connoisseur, or whatever you do with Counter-Strike, I think it's just going to be improved with Counter-Strike 2 coming in summer. Valve was AFK for a very long period of time, and now they just basically dropped the most nuclear rebrand ever. Oh my god, man.